Hare Om children. Welcome all of you to our AA studios. This is our ninth reading challenge interview. And uh, these are the kids who have done extremely well. This time we thought we will be doing two sets of interviews. The kids who have really excelled in this ninth reading challenge with the highest uh, books in this 10 days being 50 by Pujita. Raise your hand, Puji. And uh, by Jayesh, the junior most, who has completed about 40 books. So this is very happy. The other kids have done equally well. We'll be having a second set of interview also with the kids who have really attempted from not doing anything or from doing a very few books to something which is really, you know, appreciative. So coming to the first round of interview, we have with us Jayesh, Kirti, Roshni, Nanda, and Pujita. Welcome all of you kids, welcome. So the first question is uh, to Jayesh. Jayesh, so you have read uh, many books. I've been, you've been reading for the past uh, 10 days, I think, for the reading challenge. We had it from 3rd to 13th January, correct? Am I right? So starting with it, how was, what is your preparation for it? How did you prepare? Are you mad? Before the reading challenge, I started the writing brief because if I do it, it would be easy to send. So I started reading and started typing. For the first time, I was very slow and thought that it was very difficult. But when I kept on typing, it became easier. Okay, very nice. Now, now I have typed many briefs. Yes, I know. Your speed has really increased. Okay. So Thank what you about... Thank so much, Sethi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sethi. What about you, Kirti? How did you prepare this time? You've been participating in reading challenges always. But how did you prepare this time? Yeah, uh, always I prepare in the reading challenge. So when I type the briefs, I started learning to type briefs and it, it made my uh, speed very uh, fast. So in this reading challenge, I started reading a lot of books and started typing very fast. Thank you, ma'am, okay. for keeping this reading challenge. <laughs> okay, Toshni? Yeah, I also started to like prepare. And it was very fun to read a lot of books, you know, about a lot of authors and the characters, how each one, uh, like, how people are, how different people are, etc. And uh, I was also very slow in typing at first when, like, uh, this reading challenge started, like, in the reading challenge one. But now I can see the improvement in myself. That's very nice to hear. So what about you, Nanda Anil? How did you prepare for this uh, ninth reading challenge? I know you've been participating very well in this uh, past reading challenges also. But I just wanted to know about this reading challenge. So um, before the new year, to the, that is 2022, I read some books that I read some books so that I can type it out. So um, on 2022, I typed, typed the books that I read before. And um, I send it every day. I send every day. Some days I couldn't find books or something like that. I would ask help from my mom and um, she would send me links which ma'am sent sent to the group. So um, which will make me, it will make it a bit easier for me to find the books and all. So um, that's the thing I usually do. I prepare before. On the first reading challenge, I didn't know. So I used to take help from my mother. So now I do, I type the briefs on my own. So that is the only improvement I see uh, on the ninth reading challenge. But you become more independent. That's nice. So we're coming to a voracious reader of our group, uh, Pujita. Yes, Pujita, what is your preparation for this reading challenge? So this reading challenge, I have my exams going on. 
So I had to keep a stable time for my reading. It was one hour. And in, the, in that one hour, I read about five books. It was easy for me to type the briefs. And the uh, one thing which I learned from it is that the way the author sees the book, I might not see the same way. And that interested me. I was able to understand the book more when I typed the briefs. And it was not very hard, but I felt that it was a great way for us to leave the stressful world and get into a new world of books. Fantastic point. Yes. Books is the only way that you know we can really get out from our usual routine and uh, just as Pooji used it, stressful life <laughs> with you kids. But that is a fantastic multitasking, Pooji. Examination and reading challenge. Awesome. Fantastic. Lovely to hear your thought process, children. So all of you have done some pre-planning for it. Is it not? Yes, it has been announced, okay. But you've started pre-planning it. How can I do it? Okay, sometimes I may have a lot of things also in my basket, but I don't want to leave anything. I have to try my best. So, okay, coming to the next question. What is the, I mean, you read many books, I know, but uh, and many characters and many types of stories and so many things were there. Okay, which character actually did you like the best? It may be one or two or maybe more than that, but I just want you to tell one or two characters, not everything. Yes, the little one, Jesh. Okay. Because uh, he's the devotee of Vishnu and he's saved by Vishnu. Okay. Every time, whenever uh, Hiramya Kashyap decides to kill him. Correct. Correct. He didn't lose his faith at all, no? Whatever came, yeah. he, was, uh, he was so sure that God will come and help him. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Faith. faith. Yes. Wonderful answer. Yes, Kirti Bhageshri. Which character? Yeah, the first. Yeah, ma'am. The first story which I, uh, the character which I liked is Mother Bruce by Ryan T. Higgins. In that, I like Mother Bruce because she doesn't like anything. But when she uh, got the ducks, when they become elder, she made them marry. She was very sad. Yeah, it's true that all mothers feel like this. And uh, the second one is the mind reader. From that, I take Tia. I like her power that is reading everyone's mind. I also want like that, to read everyone's mind. Correct. Half the problems will not exist if you're able to read people's <laughs> mind. <laughs> yeah. So true. So true. Very sweet. Thank you, Kati. So what about you, Nanda? So uh, I, I have three characters. So the first one is um, Kamala, sorry, Shoe Cat from Shoe Cat to Cat. Actually, it was a new, um, new pet for Kamala, right? It was a pet for Moon. And um, it also had a very different acting. Before something strange happened, which made everyone love the Shoe Cat, it actually scratched everyone. Whoever he, whoever the show cat met, it scratched everyone. So right. on a night, something spectacular happened by the show cat. So that's the first one. Yeah, one and minute, Nanda. Initial... I want you to tell only about the second characters. one. Is... Okay, not the storyline. Okay, yeah. Second one. Next one is. Um, the ill boy's friend, best friend from the magic window because he knew that his friend was um, was sad and could not come to school. So he decided to help the friend to make him, to help his friend to make him happy. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Nanda. What about you, Roshni? Um, yeah, man. My favorite character was George from George's Marvel's because he didn't even know about the products which he used. He just dumped everything into a pot and made it as a movie. So I like that. It was very funny. Okay. What about you, Puji? My favorite character was Hercule Poirot from Agatha Christie. This guy is not like other detectives. They are very serious. If you look at the other detectives like um, Sh Sherlock Holmes, he is one of the funniest characters I've known. He takes the mystery into comedy. He 
he makes everyone get impatient and in the end when he reveals the answer everyone's very surprised that they were not able to think of it so th uh, this was my first character the second character who i liked was from a book uh, of rolthal i'm not sure of her name because it wasn't given in the book she's the protagonist in the book the magic finger i relate to her a lot because she hates hunting she doesn't understand why people like to kill other animals for their happiness so i felt that i could relate to her and if i had the power to put the magic finger on someone it would be really good yeah of course true not only poojita i myself uh, enjoyed uh, reading about the briefs about uh, mr pirate so every day in fact i used to talk to her about uh, because she just used to write a crisp uh, briefs and uh, about three four lines so every day when we used to meet up at the five books so we had a uh, for the people who are watching uh, our uh, plan was to meet the children after every five briefs you know five briefs so that is after every five books so to know about their idea what did they feel about the books which character they like so immediately and this expresses not only the children have understood the story are they able to express uh what they have been thinking and what they went through when they were reading the books so only for this we were meeting for after every five books and every time i used to interact with pujita about mr pirate only yes it was very interesting okay so coming to the next question this is to jayesh so and to uh, i'm going from jayesh the, the same question is for everyone so reading challenges are conducted in achieve academy every two months for three months once we have a reading challenge okay so when this reading challenge is uh, held you have uh, sometimes you know you don't get many books sometimes you have to search for books sometimes you don't have the time for it sometimes some exams may be there like how pujita had time but and so many things may be there you know when you are not able to read. so do you feel it is as a big burden what is it something being conducted or there is a pressure from the family uh, there is no pressure from me except me announcing it or something and uh, i know that but still do you feel it is a pressure when uh, something is being told that you have to do something within these 10 days we are all like that so not generally no, human mind is when you have something you have to do this within this time when you say like that it's generally a pressure or something you know why should i do sometimes it happens or i will do various type of uh, feelings are depending upon each person so we are going from the small one yes uh, jesh how did it you it was not a pressure ma'am it's not a pressure okay i enjoyed reading okay so what is your timing 7 to 8 7 to 8 okay that's also oh, every day so 7 so okay 7 to 8 every day you should do am i right yes okay every day 7 to 8 means then you have to plan your homework your studies school studies everything before that am i right too am i right yes ma'am okay so who helped you in doing all this like uh, amma used to keep on telling you jay you have to finish your homework at 5 jay you have to attend the class at 6 you have to finish your other thing and how did my you do mom. my mom my mom okay so when she kept on telling you about it didn't you feel like, oh, what is this my every day for 10 days you are continuously telling like this did you feel like that way no ma'am actually she would always tell tell and tell but i won't feel okay you won't feel that's very good because amma is telling only for your i people. used to play also to play off with my friends out yeah that is also done okay nothing is lost okay i'm doing everything that's very yeah. good. thank you that's very nice and now the covid cases are increasing so that's why i could not play okay okay i could only cycle okay thank you jayesh what about you kirti ma'am by uh, the first reading challenge i thought like this fully why they are asking to send reading why we have to read these books i thought by uh, year once you are keeping read a, a reading challenge so it made me to read a lot of books and this is like a habit uh, writing briefs and reading stories now that's easy let's do it fantastic that is what i wanted this to be cultivated as a habit it's very nice thank yes, you what about uh, you nanda so um in the afternoon when i had time i would first finish my homework if possible i would read five or six books okay five or four books so then uh, if i can more books i will write okay okay i'll 
if the morning class is actually a bit delayed, yeah, if the morning class was actually a bit delayed, I would read some books, write in my notebook, and in the afternoon I would. Okay, thank you. It is some internet issues. That's why certain sentences of Nanda is getting lost. Some internet issues. Uh, we are not able to help it for more than two years. Uh, we are all there in the internet. So much dependent upon it, and it uh, does create some havoc sometimes. So, what about you, Roshni? Yeah, ma'am. As KC uh, told, it was like why well, they are telling me this for ten days. So after that, uh, as Pujita told, we in some stressful world we just entered into the world of books where we like enjoy a lot. Like books attracted me like magic, and uh, I also started reading books. Like every child should inculcate a habit of reading books and having the habit of reading books, which is very good. Like their imagination will grow. Correct. And uh, I would start uh, reading the books whenever I'm free because I don't know uh, what work comes. Like uh, if I return fr uh, from school, I'll have some homework. So I'd have prepared um, uh, my schedule uh, the night before, and that would be disturbed a lot. So I'll read when I'm free. Okay, that's good. What about you, Kuji? I know what you did, but still. <laughs> But uh, whenever you read books like this, I don't feel that it's stress at all. You asked if it was stress. But for people who like reading books, who feel that reading books is like how you go down to play or how you try to play an instrument, it's just like that for me. Stress buster is what we would call it. If you say it's stress, I wouldn't agree with it. First of all, especially the period when the reading challenges are kept, I might have some work or the other. And it feels really good to get away from that thing. And sometimes enter comedy or mystery, all those worlds which might not be true in this life. So I would say that reading challenges are never stressful for me. In fact, they help me in many ways. As Roshni said, for making your imagination better, you're able to understand things better in life. And also you're able to reflect on what happens in the book and how you are doing it in present. Lastly, I would like to say that I'm able to manage my time better. The more the things get on me, the more I'm able to manage my time. So I would say that reading challenges have been one of the best parts in my journey in Achieve Academy. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Fuji. Made my day. Actually, whenever uh, it's actually it's the best part. Like what she was, what she was doing those ten fifteen days. I think Jan uh, think was a uh, wonderful multitasking, where uh, she didn't say no for anything. She went on and on and on, and I think she was able to do everything well. So it's always like that, you know. Sometimes uh, we feel some children feel, or even elders, just about two jobs or something is given itself. They will feel oh, it's a lot of pressure. We cannot do it. Why so much is given, or why somebody else is doing, telling us to do at this thing at this particular time? Some people, some people feel oh, come on, get it on. You want me to do this? Yes, I will do. And this one, yes, I will do. This one, yes, I will do. Some works we may like very much. Some works we may not like very much. Some things, you know, it all it is it's a mixture. But then we we try to do our best at every given step. It's a fantastic uh, thing, children. We really enjoyed the interview, and uh, I loved to. I loved hearing your thought process. Uh, waiting to meet you all again in the tenth reading challenge, of course, uh, with more wonderful books and more wonderful authors and more wonderful experiences and your thought process. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Hari Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Hari Om, ma'am. Bye. Hari Om. Thank you. Hariyo. Hariyo.